Oh my gosh, it's the messenger! Hey there everyone, so Cal I'm playing the messenger and last time I was all like, is this a Metroidvania? And the answer I was given is, doesn't matter, and yes. <laughs> Basically, and I kind of agree. Uh, so, right, we're going down at the end of this room. We're going to be going down a few times and something might happen, I don't know. And, uh, yeah, so, it's true, though. I was reminded of one important thing. Um, the fact that I am playing this as a second loop is a choice that I, and I alone, have taken. Oh, look at that. There's a very clear little inside here that I guess didn't exist before. Like, that's scarcely really a secret area. But you know what? Maybe that's why this is the prize. Oh, wait, you just climb up how you get those rooms. Then we get a lot of money to bring us to War Doom. Or at the very least, 2000 eventually. Yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah. It is true. I'm playing this as second loop because I've decided to play this as a second loop. I can't deny that. There's gonna be a down at the bottom. Oh boy. Destroy the world and all things within. I think there was a quicksand here before, right? In the land of origin? Whoa! Slow fall, very little momentum on this massive spiky object. Oh, how is this gonna work? Like that. Here we go. Learn how to swim! Thorny path above! You gotta do jumps, and there's some platforming! Yeah, I guess they can stay alive. They're just too much of a body to kill. I could grab this massive axe, though, but actually I can't. A pedestal? Um, can press up. Oh. Oh! I need to be here... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I see what you're putting down. And there's a time change if we go back around. I landed on the worm. Wow, I can't believe Ninja had more insight than I did on this. We didn't really give me the time to have an insight, to be fair. So it's fine. But anyways, yeah, so... I was lamenting the relative nature of Metroid's and Venus, but that is a self-fulfilling prophecy. I don't think that's the correct word to use. Don't matter. So yeah, this is where there's sand, but there's that mushroom is looking at me. This sand here, I can probably just go right through. Here we go, Mario 3-ing this. I feel like if I were to like instantly redo my ideas, uh, I feel like I still want to do this in a structured way to make sure I don't miss anything, right? But I think the big difference I would have done is I would have done it backward. I think I would have started like at, at the most right that I could and tried to work my way backwards. So I'd be playing the level design, you know, backwards, precisely. I think that could have been me. But it's fine. This room is the same through the years, through the ages. So it's gone here because I take it here. <laughs> That's funny. Close time loop. Magic seashell. It's gonna play a song when I get a secret. Hear the call of the deep. Oh. So, like, the deep water I was in yesterday? Oh, man. How far is that, I wonder? Uh, it is here. Yeah, it's kind of a distance. Ah, it's doable. I mean, maybe I should do that now, when I get a chance now, rather than wait too much. When's the next? Oh boy, okay. If I want to be playing this in HD though, I gotta go back and change now. <laughs> kind of a bit annoying, but that's fine. Here we go. Everything's a lot more brown. A lot more detail, too. Alright, so destroy the world as much as you want. So, alright, so where am I going now? It's kind of basically this is just going to be straightforward playing until the next gate, and then we're going to be going straight down. So, yeah, we can do that. But this is the new graphic style, so we will be playing because there might be changes. Like, very slight variations that I, for whatever reason, feel is 
interesting enough to maintain. So here we go. Look at that, it's Mr. Crow. Oh, see here you have- no, you don't have to do the platform thing. Because you can just jump up there. Cloud Staff is the game's main thing. And it is relevant constantly. Destroy the world if you want. Uh, if you want. Yeah, that potion is just not worth it. Because it's like way down there. And it's like, whoa, well, who goes way down there, huh? Yeah, exactly. That's an incomplete thought. But you know what? Sometimes you don't need to complete your thoughts. Just leave them be. There's a patch of mushrooms you can hide behind. And mushrooms not a fan, though. It's so sad. Oh, no! Well, I'm going on my way. There is some stampy ground. Don't get killed if you can. Here we go. So, oh, mushroom cat zone. Here we go. Destroy the demon in the face. Whoa, they're mushroom kill. Mushroom death and mushroom mill. Yeah, you would kill mushrooms at a mushroom mill, probably. Uh, hmm. I'm not... Rope the bird. Like, is that the step I was missing? That's what I'm thinking. Ooh, carousel. Ooh. Now I'm gonna do that. Press down a lot. Alright, I did that, and I'm jumping right into this thing. I nailed it. Big ol' rotten construction. I haven't seen better days. Uh, gonna hit this thing, though. Quick, 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 quick. Don't get smashed. Don't get crushed. Don't get destroyed. Point. There we go. Get out of here. Leap zones. Uh, did we saw it's like death circle like on the edge of like the margin of the other screen like this this was like an actual old game because that's funny. okay be careful here here we go destroying the world if we want to which we do uh, all right so we're going to be going whoa okay, i'm surprised that went as well as it did not gonna lie I'm not sure what I was expecting, but it sure went all right. So down here, which is a place that I guess I couldn't go before. Like, it just kind of looks like a down jump, but maybe it was just filled up in the end, in the before time. All right, well, uh, we got ourselves an action zone. So it looks like, you know, this is where a lot of the difficulty is now in the game, is these little action adventure areas. Whoa! Whoa, that was pretty good. Okay, uh, I can totally just, yeah, double dip, and here we go. That's cool! Big old chain rope, rope chain, chain those ropes, together! Don't replace your rope with a chain, those serve different purposes. Check it out, a mushroom guy that I destroyed, and I got a hammer on my head. It wasn't a hammer, though. It was a spike ball. Next stop! Yeah, I guess I will return to the aquatic maze, but we- and yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. I think I will. I just don't see a reason not to destroy this man. No real reason. Like, it's not like he's actively like- okay, so... I want the prizes, but I don't want to- oops, I don't want to change where I am. Like, I want to stay in this timeline, so I guess I'm gonna miss out on that much- whoa! I'm gonna miss out on that much. Tap the button, tap the button, tap the button for you! Alright, so I'll clean this up though. Whoa, cat kill! Destroy that spike too! Oh! Okay, so I have to change and then I can return. Alright, that's fine. Alright, bye bye guys. Well, I need to do that switch anyways to go down here. So, but yeah, I wanna check out, since it's kind of in the area ish. Like, there's no real other closeness. I think this just makes sense to do now. Well, I mean, also I should chat, you know? Okay, first of all, conch. Oh, the deep. Seashell being underwater. It just makes too much sense. By playing this part of the level upside down, I realized that I'm glad I didn't decide to do the whole thing upside down because a lot of the level is just not as interesting when you could just go through it upside down. Backwards, I should say, not upside down. Those are different concepts. Ha! Skeleton, you're stuck! What I need to switch. God damn it. Uh, that's a down? Huh. Thank you. 
All right, so what is Mr. Conch gonna do, if anything? I mean, it's just, it fits, it's the deep. We're in the deep. The music went away. The music went away. Okay, well, the glitter there makes it pretty obvious. So you just wait. And I mean, yeah, the music gets louder, but, uh, the glitter's a pretty big tell. <laughs> I wonder if the glitter was added, like, later. Because that just outright gives it away. People were like, oh, cow, the map. See, I'm always in that square during this whole event. I noticed that when I was playing. It looks like some viewers did not. See, we're never leaving the square while we're in the Lost Wood Cave water. Yeah, I'm not seeing really any tells or pattern. Like, beyond the obvious solution of find key to open door. This kind of goes on for a bit. Considering the simplicity of the actions required, but it's fine. It's to prevent brute forcing, probably. Alright, well, the music was different. Wait, this leads to a different place? Where am I? Okay, did not expect an entire world here? I did not... This is beautiful, by the way. Okay. This is a lot. Um, I feel like I should stop as soon as there's a moon crescent here. That's fun. Oh. Oh, 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 what's this then? Brand new area I didn't even know existed. This is adding me more evidence that this here is probably uh, the castle that the Fulpkins are probably gonna make a bridge for me to get to. Brand new area. Okay, okay, I'm going back. I'm going back to finish Mushrooman because I can just warp here whenever I'm ready. I can just return here, no effort, because I opened up a gate. Good, awesome, great. I know some people are probably really excited to see what this could be. I am also, but I am also... Uh, and I'm completely and fully immersed in my methodology of exploring, which is extremely systematic. So, here we go! Go back to the mushrooms! The skeleton was, like, right there. Yeah, the opening, the up zone they need to get to, to get to the mushroom part. Like, the opening just does not exist. And now, back to our scheduled program, The Mushroom Place. Here we go. So I put my face in here. We can see that the room doesn't stop. Yeah, this is where the death story happens. All right, well, here we go. So this is new. Yeah, this is as far as I went. I was like, oh, this is a bit more involved and I feel like I'm ready. And Whoa, okay, uh, this is some shape. Like, do I want to go to the bottom? I don't seem to be punished for going all the way to the bottom. This is a really big cave. Alright, if you're into really big cave with occasional bats... Yeah, it's just like nice and red here at the bottom. With the mushroom doing faces and skeletons. This is another alternate pathway to somewhere. The Searing Crag, which is a place I've been to... Oh, I might be returning here. See, again, like, I don't want to get involved with, like, a whole thing. Let's just peek. That's enough peeking. That's enough peeking. Maybe I can return here. Wait, let's look at a world map. Okay, see, so yeah. So, Searing Crag is the other side of Mushroom Zone anyways. So, it's kind of, like, a similar to how there's two entrances to the catacombs. But maybe next time, you know, when I have to re-explore this place, maybe I'll do it that way. I'll start there. 
Because otherwise, this is just like this really big room. Well, there's this theory where maybe you can turn time in certain crabs in a way where you could return here in the past. That could maybe lead to something interesting. Could. It's a lot of coulds, though. But it could happen. Well, I mean, looking here, no, I still got a coin to get, some more HD platforming to do, and naturally, I need to get to the where the boss is to see if anything's different. As of now, more often than not, nothing interesting happened when returning to a boss arena in the past, in the future, except the one time that something did interesting happen, it was genuinely very interesting, and, um, give me a power-up, or more, more, more correctly, a key that, whoop I, I just kind of went there, that I'm going to be using in the mounds, so, you know, whoop, alright, well, look at that, see, use damage to save time. We'll call that saving time. Alright, so more stuff going on. Oh, that's fun. And those are not able to destroy rocks. Alright, oh, I'm getting hurt a lot here. What is happening? Alright, be careful here. Like, you're just kind of like going, going, and not really putting a lot of thoughts in your actions. And that's the results, you know? Oh, what did I? Yeah, see, that, that was extremely avoidable. You did not need to take that damage. You did not need to at all. Whoa! Whoa, shoot, shoot! Well, and then I died. So it doesn't matter. All the way here? All the way here. Alright, so last time I just kind of panicked. Just sit here, you look. This is all you need to do. This is like, very easy. There is no real challenge at all involved with anything here. I don't understand what I did. Oh, this is, is this where you learn about the rope dart? I don't know. A lot of what you can do seems very rope darty. Right, I can climb this, no problem. Alright, destroy the world. Someone put some planks there for safety over the wall. That's just smart. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, in the in the in the past, there's just like a whole bunch of spikes here. I guess the spikes went away with time. Ooh, but how do you get up there? I think you need to use that guy, or to use a fire. But yeah, like that. Oh, wait, but this is close. Oh, okay. Annoying. Um. How do I handle this? Like, I'm already here. I think I'm just gonna press forward, change, and then go back. Wait, yeah, yeah, so I'm still in this timeline. What am I seeing? Like, how is this gonna work? Like, you just kinda do that, I guess, and then you're here. Alright, okay. Fair enough. Whoa-ho. Whoa-ho. Let's say whoa-ho a lot. So we're still in the new zone, and we will be doing this all the way through. We'll be double backing in the past. Uh, and, uh, in order to go into that room. So honestly, yeah, maybe after that, since I'm gonna be like halfway through, I can park myself at the new entrance to Craggy Mountain Zone. That might be the way to go. I'm just trying to jump here, and it's just, the game's not letting me. It sees the wall, it's like, I'm gonna latch on to that wall, man. You can't stop me. You're right, I cannot stop you. Yep, so just going straight forward. I do not have uh, 2,000 buckaroos to uh, spend on an upgrade. Uh, here's Bazone. Whoa, a gate. Uh, anything special in this ancient room? There isn't. Sadly, and look at that, it's very nice. Oh, look at that! Oh no, the camp was always there, so that now we can actually see it. It's probably where the Quill Queen lived. Maybe. Alright. Hey, you're still here! How's it going? Uh-huh, yep, yeah, I realized that. All, all these are just sand and in and, and easy mode in the past. Uh, And here are those massive mushrooms that are gone. This is really cool, being able to, like, observe these firsthand. You didn't exist. 
Alright, so we're already back here. This went really fast. Okay, I can just use you guys to get up here. Alright, so... Yeah, so there's a lot of scary spikes in your back, and you're annoying. But I can just live amongst the fairies. Okay, that didn't really work out. <laughs> ah, I could've. Oh, shoot. Okay. There is a save zone up there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take the time to go to the save zone here, because this is kind of a hard thing in general. This is kind of pretty hard. Pretty and hard. Like, this part is easy. Then you're here, and it's like, okay, so... Like, I... You know what? I totally brute forced that. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. This is fun looking. But then you just kind of do like that. Yeah! <laughs> Alright. Absolutely worth it. And victory! Alright. And there's an up. Okay. Well, that's just the return up. As there tends to be. And with that, I declare the Quilshrope Marsh finished. So yeah, I'm gonna go and save at a transition down there. And that's where we're gonna start over again next time. Uh, how do I go back? Badly. <laughs> that didn't, didn't quite work out, but it's fine. And like, everything has saved, so you know what? Sure. How did the spikes grow in the future, I wonder? Yeah! Oh, uh, that was satisfying. Very simple string of action, but very satisfying. And here we go. Saving here. It says saving up there, so next time we will be doing Searing Crags. Starting with this alternate run, and then uh, I guess we'll loop around, and then redo it. It's a bit annoying, but I mean there's two pathways. It's, it's kind of unavoidable. Uh, although maybe I could just do the loop. And then, oh, well, you know what, I'll figure it out. You know what? Why am I, why am I caring about this now? Let tomorrow me worry about this. Oh, this is here so good. Yeah! Oh, it's so good. Ah. Uh. Oh, this, my, my, my vocabulary is limited.